Namaskaram. This question is asked in 2020 based on orders of magnitude from number system chapter. Very important question. Every year you will see a question based on orders of magnitude. I request you to kindly watch this video till end. There is so much learning from this problem. Similar questions will be expected. You should be able to solve them. Which one of the following will have minimum change in its value? If 5 is added to both numerator and the denominator of the fractions, okay, 2 by 3, 3 by 4, 4 by 5 and a 5 by 6. Pay attention to the given fractions, my friends. This is very, very important. They are not just random numbers. Always there will be a pattern, okay. So you must pay attention to the fractions whenever you see them, okay. This is very, very important. 2, 2, 3 plus 1, 3, 2, 4 plus 1, 4, 2, 5 plus 1, okay, 3, 2, 4 plus 1, 4, 2, 5 plus 1, okay, 5, 2, 6 plus 1. So, there is a pattern here, okay, you must observe that and also 2, 2, 3 difference is 1, 3, 2, 4 difference is 1, 4, 2, 5 difference is 1, 5, 2, 6 difference is 1. You may think you can solve this problem by finding out 2 by 3, 3 by 4, 4 by 5, 5 by 6 and you know adding 5 in numerator and denominator similarly finding out the values. What if okay the fractions are 13 by 14, okay 14 by 15, 15 by 16, 16 by 17. What if the fractions are like this? What if the fractions are 21 by 22, 22 by 23, okay and are 23 by 24 like this? What if the fractions are like this? So, these are very much possibility, okay, and examiner is not asking you to solve the problem like this and you may expect the questions of this type in future. So, you have paid attention to the fractions, you observe there is a pattern. Now, what are these fractions? These are proper fractions, my friends, okay, we have three kinds of fractions, proper, improper and then mixed fractions. Okay, what is a fraction? Okay, fraction is part of the whole. Okay, part of the whole. Let's see the whole. Whole is 1. Okay, and a fraction of it A by B. This should be always less than 1. Fraction should be always less than whole, right? Okay, in this case, we call this fraction as a proper fraction. This is the proper definition of the fraction. So, in proper fraction, a by b is always less than 1. That implies, okay, a is less than b, my friends, okay. Numerator is less than denominator. You multiply with b on both sides, okay. b, b gets cancels out. So, a less than 1 into b, that is b, okay. a less than b, this is what we are saying. In proper fractions, numerator is less than denominator. Improper fraction, okay, quite opposite of proper fraction, okay a by b greater than 1 that implies okay a greater than b numerator greater than denominator okay that is a uh, 6 by 5 or 7 by 4 numerator is greater than denominator to get this you are just multiplying with b on both sides okay b b cancels out so a greater than b okay so numerator is greater than denominator mixed fractions combination of proper and improper fractions okay one 3, 4 that is 1 plus 3 by 4, 3 by 4 is proper fraction, you can call it as improper fraction, okay, 1, you can write it as 1 by 1, okay, so you can call it as improper fraction also, when numerator and denominator same, okay, you can definitely call, this definition doesn't matter much, however, proper fraction definition is a by b less than 1, improper fraction definition is a by b greater than 1, okay, and uh, every improper fraction you can represent it as Mixed fraction 7 by 4 that is 4 plus 3 by 4 that is 1 plus 3 by 4. 4 by 4 is 1, 3 by 4, okay. That is 1, 3, 4, okay. 1, 3, 4. So every improper fraction you can represent it as mixed fraction. Very, very important. And uh, in time and work, we have seen 6, 60 by 7, okay. LCM of fractions. 6, you can write it as a fraction, right? 6 by 1. When you write some number as a by b, that means it is a fraction. 6, you can definitely write it as 6 by 1. So, LCM is, you know, LCM of numerators by HCF of denominators. This is how you find out here. So, basics are all very, very important. You must know them. That's why I have taken some time to explain. Now, these are proper fractions, okay, a by b. 
we know we have learnt in orders of magnitude or types of ratios in a ratios and proportion chapter okay if it is a proper fraction a by b is less than a plus k by b plus k this identity we have seen in those lectures okay orders of magnitude and types of ratios you must recall this because we are adding the same number in numerator and denominator okay and this number is always greater than this we'll come back to the problem in few seconds please be with me this is very very important let's arrange these fractions in ascending order increasing order 2 by 3 is less than 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 my friends okay from this rule here k is 1 so that means 2 by 3 is less than 3 by 4 okay this is 3 by 4 right now you take a by b as 3 by 4 okay 3 by 4 is less than 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 3 plus 1 is 4 okay 4 plus 1 is 5 so this is less than 4 by 5 now 4 by 5 okay you take a by b as 4 by 5 so 4 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 that is 5 by 6 okay so you know so this is their order of magnitude we have seen how this happens for improper fractions you must go through the lecture a question is definitely guaranteed now to the question okay we have proper fractions fractions are of a by b type okay i am generalizing the problem now it is being said that add some k in numerator and denominator we know for proper fractions a by b is less than a plus k by b plus k so when some k is added to numerator and denominator that value would be bigger my friends okay then virginal now we want okay change the difference so change the difference bigger minus smaller bigger is a plus k by b plus k minus smaller a by b now b plus k into b okay so cross multiplication a plus k into b minus a into b plus k i am generalizing the problem because that's how the problem will be asked the, there is a purpose behind this problem they are not asking you to find out their values and add numerator add 5 in numerator and denominator what if the question is 13 by 14 14 by 15 like this you cannot do the problem in that way that's why there is a method examiner is asking you to solve this problem in this way if you have gone through the lecture there is no way you will miss this okay you will miss this concept now ab plus kb minus ab minus ak by b into b plus k okay ab ab cancels out okay k common k common b minus a by b into b plus k now see the beauty k is 5 here in every fraction b minus a is 1 my friends okay 4 minus 3 is 1 5 minus 4 is 1 6 minus 5 is 1 3 minus 2 is 1 so 5 into 1 by b into b plus 5 okay so this change reduces into 5 by b into b plus 5 so numerator is constant now this change to be minimum denominator should be maximum my friends okay see numerator is constant 5 now this value the change to be minimum denominator should be maximum my friends okay and uh, when this will be maximum when b is maximum in which case 5 by 6 okay b is 6 here my friends okay whereas here 5 here 4 here 3 so in this case 5 by 6 this change is minimum okay because the denominator is maximum the problem is not depending on this numerator okay so if you see here without finding out the value of these fractions we have solved this problem okay this is what examiner is expecting what if 13 by 14 14 by 15 like this ask it is highly impossible to find out their values and solving that problem okay it will take more than 4 5 minutes so yes there is a easy way you have to look for that how this thumb rule if a problem is taking more than what it is expected to take that means you are approaching the problem in wrong way if it is taking more than 3 4 minutes you are approaching the problem in wrong way change the method look for easier ways that's how you should be preparing okay there are some basics to be covered that's why i have taken some time to go through them 
but essentially you can solve this problem in 30 40 seconds my friends okay not more than that whenever you see a fraction please think of patterns first is there any pattern proper fraction or improper fraction and uh, remember this rule okay problem can be of any type please try to generalize the problem when you see the pattern and when you know this rule yes there is a possibility that you can generalize this problem okay and this all comes when you do sufficient revision sufficient practice whenever you see a problem the method should come in your mind that means you have done enough revision so revision is the key here so this problem can be solved in just two to three steps okay you have a plus k by b plus k okay minus a by b so a by b is a fraction which is given here now you know from this you got the result as a k into b minus a by b into b plus k b minus a the difference is just one my friends okay so basically it reduces into k into b by b plus k okay here k is 5 so b into b plus 5 whenever b is bigger okay this value would be bigger when this value is bigger you know this fraction would be smaller that means change is smaller okay this is possible when b is maximum okay that is b is equal 6 so our answer is d